Next comes a table of neoplasm. We all know what a neoplasm is. A neoplasm is a tumor. Tumor not specified. But here you should understand certain things. What are the types of neoplasm? Here you should understand something like, you know, whether the tumor or the mass is a benign one or a malignant one. Sometimes the document does not say whether it is benign tumor or a malignant tumor. In that case, you should report that as an unspecified neoplasm or an unspecified tumor. See if there is any specific documentation. And the other type would be like uncertain behavior. What is all that? Okay, so before that, let me go to a benign tumor. So when the physician document is a benign one, that means it is not there is not much of a complication. It is a benign one. You know, it's not going to cause significant alteration in the patient's health. So that can be removed in a safer way. So that is a benign tumor. Next is we talk about malignant. Whenever we say about malignancy, what is malignancy? The tendency to metastasis. What is to metastasize? To spread to the distant organs. You should understand. So when we talk about this malignancy, or we also call it as a cancerous tumor, in this case, what happens is you should know whether it is a primary site or the secondary site. And when we talk about the secondary site, the tumor spreads from the one primary site or it can be multiple primaries, it can be, but that could be rare. It spreads from one organ and to the other organ. Say for example, the tumor in the brain, actually that was a primary tumor, that has started to spread to the lungs and to the kidneys. In this case, it is actually the malignant primary is the brain and the secondaries are the lungs and the kidneys. The neoplasm table, we have specific codes for the primary cancer and for the secondary cancer sites. So you should be in a position to understand. If I say metastatic lung cancer to prostate, if that is a diagnosis or assessment that has been given, then you should select the code this way, metastatic lung cancer to prostate. That means that cancer has spread from the lungs to the prostate. Lungs would be the primary site code and the prostate would be the secondary site code. You should be very careful in figuring out which site is primary and which is secondary. Okay. And then there is something called like uncertain. The provider is not sure when this particular tumor becomes a malignant one. So the nature of the tumor is not certain. So for all of these, you need to be very, very uh, selective in the sense like you need to be specific and see if all of these are documented. This B9 is nothing but benign. That's what I've written in short as a B9, which means a benign. B N I G N, benign in nature. We have something called as an in situ carcinoma where the tumor is actually localized and it has not yet started to metastasize. So once it has started to spread to the other structures, now this becomes a an invasive carcinoma. How do you know whether a tumor is, you know, it's like metastatic or not, or whether it is, if it's given like adenoma, what are you supposed to do? Very simple. Go to the index. That index would tell you what is the nature of the tumor. Say, for example, if it is sarcoma, then that would tell you it is a neoplasm of connective tissue malignant. If it is sarcoma of heart, what you should do is go to that neoplasm, you should go to connective tissue to heart. In case if connective tissue of heart is not there, then you can very well take neoplasm heart malignancy primary. Primary or secondary that depends on the documentation. If nothing is specified, you should only take it as an unspecified tumor or neoplasm. We have unspecified, we have benign, we have in situ carcinoma, we have malignancies as primary and secondary and then we also have like uncertain behavior.